request my pardon on Calvary's tree. I love thee for wearing the thorns on thy brow. If ever I love thee, my Jesus.
to Jesus for the cleansing power. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in His grace this hour? Are you washed in the blood of the
I will take my face mask. It is a joy to point out upon the events that God the Lord does that no one can understand. That he offers us every day so as to know our relationship with him and live as his children so one day we go back. the prophet Isaiah, and I read, The Lord will prepare a banquet and will wipe away tears from every cheek. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will prepare for all people a banquet of rich food, a banquet of fine wines, of food rich and juicy, of fine strained wines. On this mountain, he will remove the morning veil covering all peoples and the shroud enwrapping all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord will wipe away the tears from every cheek. He will take away his people's shame everywhere on earth. For the Lord has said so. That day, it will be said, See, this is our God, in whom we hoped for salvation. The Lord is the one in whom we hoped. We exult and we rejoice that he has saved us. For the hand of the Lord rests on this mountain. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. And I read, I know how to be poor, and I know how to be rich too. I have been through my initiation and now I am ready for anything anyway. Full stomach or empty stomach, poverty or plenty, there is nothing I cannot master with the help of the one who gives me strength. All the same, it was good of you to share with me in my hardships. In return, my God will fulfill all your needs in Christ Jesus, as lavishly as only God can. Glory to God, our Father, forever and ever. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. As I said, at the beginning of my introduction, I told you we have six more weeks for the liturgical year. When we talk of the liturgical year, then we look at how. COVID has brought still, even we don't ponder upon it, that after our life here, we will go and be with the Lord. That is what has been offered to us. And it will take place at nowhere else on Zion, in Jerusalem. And Jesus cherished going to Jerusalem. We told when his passion came, he saw it and he went. Because it will be destroyed. The people are not prepared. For the new plan that God wants to bring into our world. 
So this great image therefore gives us an insight of God's blessing he wants to give us, the satisfaction and happiness that we cannot give to ourselves, that he alone can give. And it has been fulfilled in Jesus Christ. So we used to say, Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ is blood, who come again. So we are not talking of an empty banquet, but of a spiritual banquet with the Lord. Of which Christ has done so much to destroy nothing else. But the physical death of faith that has given us a spiritual insight, a spiritual glory to be with the Lord. That is what the first reading has therefore offered us. And all those who had it therefore rejoice in it. And that is how the reading therefore provided as I recapture the end of it saying. This is our God in whom we hope for salvation. The Lord is the one in whom we hope. We exalt and we rejoice that He has saved us, for the hand of the Lord rests on this heart. So today the first reading gives us the reality of this prophetic mission. That it is real. For you and I to know our God. It is real for you and I to call upon His journey to Calvary. It is real for you and I to know that God has good plans for us, a plan for the future. And after He has done all this, He finally made us aware when. He gave us the beginning of his life in this church. It is after all these that the Holy Spirit came upon the apostles and reformed this church. So the church becomes the symbolism of the one we should listen to, the one who must know we have our deal, and the one that gives all the necessary directions. And so my dear brother, my dear sister, as we are beginning the event of our study, we want you to know your God. So begin everything with Him and everything with Him. Because God's Son has removed the veil of darkness, the veil of sorrow from us, and has given us a sign of hope for our future. This fiscal death therefore becomes the doorway by which we shall all pass through and go and have our banquet with the Lord. And so we are talking about our salvation, all the events that has happened. So don't question God, why? Where are you to allow this to happen? And many times we do that, am I right? When our friends pass on. Or there are certain difficulties we meet, he say, as for oh, why? May he bless us and give us the seed, work as a team, serve one another, and remain a bond of the dignity of the God of God for the soul of the Holy Spirit. May his name praise, now in the name of the Amen.
Let us pray for our kids. I said to God to pray for the people. These things that we bring for me. That through these acts of devotedness, we pass well to the Lord of the We can do when we are so constrained. We pray for Jesus.